Good afternoon. It is a fight over who should be allowed to testify in the Devon Lyman murder trial. Prosecutors say Lyman's argument that he killed APD officer Daniel Webster in self-defense blindsided them. Now, prosecutors want the judge to let them bring in an expert witness to defend his police tactics. News 13's Chris McKee is live downtown at District Court to explain. Yeah, Kim, the judge gave prosecutors the OK just yesterday to use a police lieutenant who is already on their witness list as an expert witness, somebody who will testify in police rules and use of force. But the pro prosecution now wants to find someone else, someone entirely different, much to the defense's objection. Certainly, if they're going to call an expert in this area, uh, we should be afforded the same opportunity. But now is not the time for the state to get to go shopping for somebody who, Lord knows, when they'll be ready, when, they'll, when they're going to present them. The defense made that objection today, claiming it's unfair for the state to be trying to add new witnesses in mid-trial. They also say the prosecution should have seen Lyman's self-defense argument coming. They argue that Lyman killed Webster in October 2015 because Webster was being overly aggressive after he pulled him over on a stolen motorcycle. The defense is being allowed to pick its own police policy expert that's outside of the final witness list. And the state argues it should be able to do the exact same thing. We would only ask for the same, um, the, old, the same, uh, the same possibility of the court to be able to prevent, present the truth in this case that there was no excessive force and there should not be a defense instruction. Now, Judge Neil Candelaria noted today how, quote, late the state's request was, but he refused to rule on the issue, only saying that he will wait until the state calls its witness. Now, Lyman's attorneys also told us today that Devon Lyman will take the stand to testify in his own defense, saying it's essentially required for a self-defense claim. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Chris. Now, during the trial today, the prosecution put gun and DNA experts on the stand to link Lyman to the shooting of Officer Webster, but it comes after Lyman has already admitted to the shooting. We'll continue to bring you live updates on the testimony and, of course, a live stream on KRQE.com.